Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're having a good day. Nice, beautiful, sunny day here. I'm at the studio right now. I had a client at 3 and at about 3.15 she texted me to tell me she couldn't be here. So I <laughs> had to keep myself busy. So I um, cleaned up the studio a bit and uh, worked a little bit on what I'm about to talk about. So it was all well used time, I guess. <laughs> so the topic, why you should be doing more of it. Everyone needs to do more of it and I've got reasons why. And the it is exercise. <laughs> Surprise! Um, so here are some reasons uh, that we all need to exercise that have absolutely nothing to do with weight. Hey Nolan, how's it going? Hi Stephanie. So, um, hey Kevin. <laughs> so um, a lot of people when they think about exercise and th they think about starting an exercise program, their main motivation is um, to either lose weight or maybe to gain weight. Maybe they want to put on muscle. So it, it seems to be very much centered on weight. And that can be that can be a problem. You can get really obsessed with that and it can turn into a really frustrating thing. Um, my main motivation for working out when I was younger was just to lose weight and it just got really frustrating after a while. So I thought I would talk about other reasons, better reason why you should exercise. Because even if you have weight to lose, you'll lose the weight, but then what? <laughs> you have to, need to have more reasons why to keep on exercising. Um, thanks, Nolan and Kevin. <laughs> you guys are going to make me blush. <laughs> hey, Alyssa, how's it going? So, first one is exercise helps to fight depression. So, when you exercise, your body releases endorphins, and uh, endorphins make you feel good. So, even just a short little bit of exercise, a short bit of physical activity, um, will help your mood immensely. And uh, when I started working out regularly, that's when things really changed for me, and when I started focusing on things other than just trying to lose weight, like focusing on the other great things about exercise, like how strong you feel and how much more energy you have and that kind of thing. So um, if you've got some depression that you're you're fighting against right now, um, try to fit in some physical activity and just have that little bit of relief for that time that you're, you're um, taking part in that physical activity. And you know, exercise can be anything. It doesn't have to be going to a gym doesn't have to be going for a run. It can be whatever makes you happy. So any kind of physical movement that makes you happy, something that gets your heart rate up, or if you like lifting weights, you know, something that you enjoy doing. And if you enjoy it, you're going to do it more often. So best to find something that you enjoy if you want to start working out. Um, the other one is it helps you to deal with stress. So um, when you're stressed, you should go and do a workout and get a lot of that stress worked out. Um, I know any time that I'm really stressed out, I like to get in a good workout. And if I'm teaching a class, it's usually usually turns into a really tough class because <laughs> I use some of my frustration. Um, and the reason why it helps with stress is because it's one of the fastest ways to clear cortisol out of your your body. So that's that stress hormone. So if you're feeling totally stressed out, try a bit of physical activity and see how that helps. So again, make it something that you enjoy doing. And it doesn't have to be like an hour of it either. It can be, you know, 10, 20 minutes, whatever. It's going to help to clear out some of that cortisol and you're going to be able to deal with your stress a lot better. Um, the other one is that I'm going to talk about is it boosts creativity and um, I find this for myself for sure like if you've got a report due or you're working on a paper or maybe you've been put in charge of organizing some kind of function and you don't know what to do um, try getting in a workout and then see how much more creative you become because your your brain is just you know open to all these ideas when you're working out and um, it really gets the ideas flowing so try it I know it works for me in the mornings after my first workout like I get so much done I'm so productive and um, in the evenings as I'm you know not working out I find that my brain starts to shut down a bit so if you need a little boost in your creativity you've got some writer's block try um, doing some kind of physical activity um, hey Darcy I'm not sure what the link is for but thanks <laughs> I'll check it out I'll check it out after this um, next one is it actually helps people to deal with addictions which is really interesting so um, whether you're addicted to sugar or cigarettes or alcohol or drugs, um, it's been shown that exercise can actually help with these addictions. And studies have shown that the endorphin rush released during exercise acts the same on the neural pathways as add addictive substances do. So you get that same kind of rush, that same kind of, you know, what you need from that substance that you would normally indulge in. You actually get that from physical activity. So, you know, that can be something if you feel like you're struggling a little bit with something and you want to give it up, 
um, try working out the next time you have the urge to use that particular substance and just see how that changes how, how you're feeling. And I do have a link to the studies that have shown that, so if you go to my blog, you can check out that, um, that information. It's quite interesting. And the last one I was going to talk about is exercise saves you money. So you might think it's too expensive to join a gym or too expensive to invest in an at-home program or whatever. You just don't want to invest some money in it. But if you compare it to the cost of being sick, you'll see that you can totally afford exercise. Um, so if you, if you get to a point where your health deteriorates and you need to spend a lot of time with the doctors and a lot of money on medications, it's going to be way more time and money than you would have spent exercising to not get to that point. Um, so really, you know, give that some thought because, you know, I know some people that are into their, their later years and they're really struggling and if they had been more active when they were younger, they might not be having the same type of health issues that they're having and it's just, you know, a shame to get to that point. So, you know, if, if you can start an exercise program now, it's never too late to start, it's going to help. It's going to help with your, your future health. So think about that. Don't just think about the now. Don't just think about the discomfort of working out because I know Working out for most people is not fun. <laughs> You're going to get sweaty. It's going to be uncomfortable. And a lot of people don't enjoy that. I love it myself. I used to hate it, but now I love it. But when you think about the long-term benefits of it, you, you really need to think about that. Like, you know, I, I stress to people, you know, even if you're feeling great now and you don't have any issues, don't think that that's going to be the case later on in life if you're not doing anything right now. For some people, maybe it will be, but um, why take that chance? Why not get active? and then get to your older age and have a more mobile functioning body that feels good, you're not hurting all the time, you're not taking medications, you know, you want to feel good, you want to feel energetic, and uh, you want to feel young. So, you know, you, you want to be able to enjoy those later years. So those are just five. There are many other reasons to work out. Um, I hope that that kind of inspires you a little bit. Um, if you want to talk to me more about it, you can message me anytime. I'm always free to talk. Hey Ray, how's it going? Hi Stephane, nice to see you guys. Um, and I gotta get going because I need to set up for the last class and get some other things done around the studio. Now that I started cleaning, there's a bunch more things that I wanna clean. So I'm kinda on, the, on some momentum there of cleaning. So I'm gonna keep that going and get some stuff done that I've been putting off for a long time. So you guys have an awesome evening and um, tomorrow I'm gonna talk about reasons why you need to eat healthy. That'll be fun, right? <laughs> talk to you soon guys, bye.